Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Still on the stuff? Who are you? Well, that's going to be my next question. Uh, I'm a friend of Bricks. Bricks away? I needed some more clothes. Well, does the friend of Bricks have a name? Yeah. A girlfriend, actually. Becky. Well, I'm Jake. I'm uh, filling in for him. Terence Dodge, I'm arresting you on a charge of disposal of stolen goods. Hey, hey, how's this gonna help? Get in the car, Terry. Get out of here, Terry. Uh, no, leave it, leave Do it. You've got an opinion on this. Go on, this Leave it, crazy. leave it. You're under arrest for the disposal of stolen goods. It's always between us. Hmm. Can't go back and change it, can you? Worse luck. Legally, I can't withdraw the charge, but I'll speak on your behalf in court, explain things. Better than nothing. I'd like you to meet my new business partner. Ryan McLeod Horse Training. <laughs> McLeod Ryan, and eventually we'll be getting into breeding too. Congratulations. Everything died just outside your gate. Oh, guess we can go it up, have a look. Hey, put the kettle on. I'll be back in a tick. I'll stick my boots on and see you up front. in the city so long. <laughs> she thinks everyone's a potential axe murder or a rapist or... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Well, I guess Finn found someone then. On your Finn? Thought you'd be back with a crusty old farmer. A good looking one. <laughs> hey, you just stay where you are. My sister knows where I am, all right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool. I said stay where you are. Relax, all right? Okay. Whoa, don't, don't shoot. Don't move. Look, look, we can explain. I said don't move. I'll get it. Turn out. Take a look at this, Tess. Your strippers.
fun for you. So, are we going to get a preview? Oh, no way. <laughs> Gun Gallon's our first show and we're still not quite used to the whole stripper thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a bit of a first for us too. Oh, yeah. Kind of hoping maybe this afternoon. No chance. We've got to order in a new alternator. Um, that'll take a couple of days at least. Looks like we're not going anywhere. I'll make a call. Bummer. Guess that means you'll have to stay here then. We'll sort something out. In the meantime, I've got to meet Alex and get some work done. Me too. Pump won't fix itself. There's plenty of food inside. Just help yourselves to some cereal. They've been driving for four hours. I think they need a cooked breakfast. Well, are you volunteering? Because I've got to go and feed the horses. Oh, well, I have cooked before. That's right. I remember that one time. Can I give you a hand? Oh, thanks. I'm right. Please stay and enjoy my daughter's cooking. Your daughter? <laughs> I thought you were sisters. You're welcome anytime. I think it's crazy. He'd do it. Yeah, well, if you've got it, why not flaunt it? Well, you'd do something like that. Yeah. Pour me at some women and get my gear off. Oh, that's right. Karaoke, 1997. Oh, yeah, aided and better by Nick's own brew. <laughs> Looked good, though, didn't I? Now, remember, you're here as a silent partner to show support and a full wallet. That's it. Trust me, my lips are sealed, Claire. Good. Oh, and uh, if his wife shows up, try and get your clothes on, will you? Go, get it. Well, I like your training techniques, Claire, but what about Australian bloodlines? Ah, oh, don't worry about them, Neil. They're out of the picture. How long, you reckon, till casino's ready? Oh, I think uh, there's been a bit of a break. Two to four months. Look, I reckon we could have them ready for the Gun Gallon show, OK? Uh, but we couldn't guarantee that. Look, you'd have my word, Neil. It's better than a guarantee. And uh, how much? Same as before. Look, as a sweetener, Neil, We'll cover casino's costs in the show, OK? It wasn't in the contract, Alex. But it can be in the new contract, Claire. Could you excuse us for a second? What are you doing? You know casino won't be ready by then. Look, first rule of salesmanship. Tell the customer what he wants to hear. We'll deal with the show when the time comes, right? So, uh, Neil, you're an intelligent man and you know a good deal when you saw one. So what do you say? Oh, I'll think about it. I'll get back to you. Which part of silent partner don't you understand? They had to do something. You were losing him, right? I am the trainer. Yeah, and you're a good trainer, Claire. But what you know about selling isn't fit to fertilise Kalani. <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate. Actually, I know quite a bit about fertiliser. Oh, you no, too, you're too, right. I reckon there's a saucepan under the sink you might have forgotten to use. Mm. <laughs> so you guys run this whole place by yourselves? Yep. <laughs> I gave the mechanic in Gungalan a call. He said he can get an alternator in by tomorrow. Oh, no, it's too late. We've got the whole book tonight. We've got to drive around and deliver flyers. Well, you can try the mechanic in Fisher, but I don't like your chances. <clears throat> Sorry, it's been a bit crook. Huh. Could it be the idea of going naked in front of the whole town, maybe? <laughs> no, that doesn't bother me, but no one knows about the show, then. <laughs> hey, it's OK. I can drive you around. Uh, no, you can't. You've got work to do. But, Mum... The boys can get a lift into town with the mail van. You can start with the dishes. Hmm. I'll get the gear out of the combi. Uh, a lift won't do it. We... We need that van to put up posters and deliver flyers, otherwise. It's all right, I can do a ring around. It's not enough. Why not? We need a full house. I wouldn't ask, but it's, it's not for us. Hey, look, it's OK. You can tell me. We're raising money for Michael's little brother. Well, what about him? It was a tractor accident last year. Yeah, it's bad. Hey! Hey? My seeds arrived yet? I reckon. Really? Where? 
can't miss them. Come on, Oscar. So I've been researching this for months. I've got the land, I've tested the soil, and I've got a real bargain on the seeds. 300 bags instead of a field bin. Ooh. bags is really quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon you got yourself a real bargain. I got your message. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to call you back. It's OK, Tess, I rang earlier. Claire told me you were still alive. All right. Um, can I get you a drink or something? Actually, you wouldn't know where Meg is, would you? Yeah, she's in the veggie garden, Frank. Got a lot of seeds there. I'll take some moving. So, what does your girlfriend think of your stripping? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Really? Good-looking boy like you? <laughs> Thanks. Well, don't worry, after tonight, they'll be beating a path to your door. Hey. Oh, Frank. I almost didn't recognise you. Can I have a minute? It's about Terry's charge. Trial's coming up, and I was wondering if you'd be a character witness. It's pretty straightforward. You'll be asked how long you've known Terry, exactly the nature of your relationship. In court? It's simple. 15 minutes. You're not on trial. I'm sorry, I can't help you. But he could go to jail. You should have thought of that before you pressed charges. I know that was my mistake. It certainly was. So you'll do it? No. Why? My reasons are my business. Hey, Tess, you don't want to go for a drive, do you? Past a few mailboxes. I've got some flies that need delivering. Sure, if you can snap your fingers and have these packed away before Claire gets back. No, right. too late. Hey, we do have a house filled with able-bodied men for a change. Let me do the talking. You're making me look bad, Alex. Just keep your big mouth shut. Claire, do you listen? We have to work together, no, right? No, no, we don't, actually. We can work apart. Look, here's your half of the client list. We can see who gets the most clients. Yeah, fine. Bring it on. Yep. Any time, any service. Don't worry, I'll get rid of them. You don't have to do a thing. What? My organic wheat seeds. They'll be moved before you know it. You said wheat. You never said organic. Well, apart from making good business sense, they're environmentally friendly and organic produce sells for 20% more, so I just sort of be... Wouldn't the whole property have to be chemical free? <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to pester you, but I just don't understand. You already stuck up for him once. That was in a police station, not in a public court. What's the difference? Who else is speaking for Terry? Well, me, of course, is the person who charged him. Harry is his employer. Alex, who works with him. And what capacity would I be speaking in? Well, as his... Friend. You've known him longer than anyone. Terry and I are more than friends. So... Perhaps it's the worst-kept secret, but... There's a difference between everyone thinking they know your business and getting up and spelling it out. You care that much what other people think? This is a country town, Frank. You've been here five minutes and you're probably only going to be here another five. I have to live here. I don't know how many times I've spoken to them and no-one ever mentioned anything about the entire property converting to organics. Oh, what are you doing? What's up with him? Okay, it's tonight, Mum, so you have to help. I've got Craig delivering flies, but not everyone's going to see them. Where's the dog meat? So I've made up a list. If you can do a ring around. It was in there last night. Oh, Mum, this is important, okay? When you talk to them, you have to remember to tell them about Michael's little brother. I was going to toss it out because it was a bit on the turn. Jodie, did you move it? Oh, Mum, who cares about off. dog meat? You know, maybe it wasn't the meat. I mean, you're not sick. 
Well, I didn't have any. I, I thought it tasted a bit funny, but I didn't want to say anything. Oh. What are we going to do about the show? What? We have to do something. I mean, Michael's little brother was injured in a tractor accident a few months ago, and now he's in a wheelchair. Oh, but that's horrible. Well, he's getting released from hospital in a few weeks, and they're trying to raise money so they can have the wheelchair ramps and rails all ready for him. All right, what can we do? <laughs> we could always strip ourselves. Hmm? No, Mum and kill me. Oh, there's the mail. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for joining us, Craig. Main delivery flies. Uh, do you know what? There is one other little thing. You see, uh, the strippers have come down with food poisoning. There's a slight possibility it was my fault, so I have to find replacements. Jane. Wait, I'm not finished. I know it's a lot to ask, but remember, it's for a little boy who really needs the money, and it would only mean being fully naked for, like, a few seconds. Jane. I'll be forever grateful. I'll do it. You will? Sure, no problem. Thank you! Want me to get my gear off? Yeah. <laughs> In front of the whole town. Well, yeah. Mm. Why not? There's nothing on television tonight anyway. You'll do it. Yeah, it's for a good cause, isn't it? <gasps> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I mean, I've never stripped off naked in front of a crowd of strangers before. There's nothing to it. Is that right? Yeah, you just gotta smile and take your clothes off. Slowly. Ah. Oh, you mean like this? Yeah, but slow. And sexier, you're not taking your clothes off to put in the wash. You're doing the strip. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. <laughs> you know, they're all cute, but things the best. Demarcated land. This is a huge property. It's not like I'm going to plant my wheat right next to the sheep dip. You know they're never going to forgive me. I've ruined everything. Does the whole place have to be organic before I can plant my seeds? Tess, it's five hours to the show and we've only got three guys. Four. Four? Yeah, new guy from Kalani, Jake. If you ask Nick, that's five. Perfect. No, no, I can't. I've got to... We'll move the seeds. Come on, he won't say no if you ask him. No. But I promise I won't look. Sorry. Well, I might take a peek, but I won't take any photos. Or if I do, they definitely won't be published on the net. Well, Craig and Jake and Terry, they're all doing it. Am I going to have to tell everyone you're too shy? You can tell them whatever you like. I've seen you dance, Nick. You're very cute when you dance. This will be the same thing, except you're naked. I'm not doing it. But why? I mean, there must be some reason. This why... is ridiculous. It's another one of your dumb ideas. I don't want anything to do with it, so just back off. with it. Well, he's obedient, responsive, and all he needs to be a great star course is the right trainer. You have all the security of the Ryan name, Kalani's top-notch facilities and reputation. Yeah, well, I'm in charge of the training, and I've got a, a partner for the financial backing, but he's signing. You see, Adam, I'm in charge of all the financial backing. Now, I have a partner for the training. But I can assure you I've got the money. Oh, well, not me personally, but... Well, obviously, Warren, I'm not personally doing the training, so I couldn't say. No, no, I'm not hiding anything. I just... So you'll call? Or should I give you a call, then? Hey. I thought Patterson was on my list. Oh, I just saw him. Yeah? How'd he go? Yeah, he's going to ring when he's decided. Good. How are you going? Excellent, yeah. Good. 
Well, I've still got a couple more to see. Yeah, me too. See you at Drovers then. Yeah, right. Good luck. Yeah, they need it. <laughs> Where'd you go? You? No I one signed up. I wanted to meet the trainer. Mine, finance. Looks like we're stuck with each other. Yeah, looks that way. Well? Look, if we're going to work together, we just got to understand I've got a certain way of doing things. Yeah, but it's not the only way, right? But I'm the trainer, so it's my way that counts. Claire, without my money, you got nothing to train. Oh, we'll see about that. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm calling this whole thing off. No, you're not. I am. Right, that's it. You two should hear yourself. This isn't just about business, you're friends. And if you don't sort it out, then it's all over. to borrow the combine if that's okay. That's no good to you. It's got chemical residue. Actually, I'm going to plant my wheat in the regular way. At least try and get some of my investment back. It's a shame. There's good money in organics. And I came to apologise. I didn't mean to push it about the stripper thing. So I promise I won't mention it again. Friends? Yeah. But hypothetically, in a friends again sort of a way, I think you would have been terrific. But I can understand why you don't want to do it. I mean, it's a really big thing getting naked in front of a you whole... You really want to know why I don't want to go on a stage in front of those people? Do you? Do you really want to know? Sure. He's a gorgeous guy with war wounds. That's not the way I see it. I guess it's about whether you wear your scars or your scars wear you. Every time one of us says something, the other one disagrees. Some we don't. I don't know, maybe we do. I reckon we go to Neil Thompson's tomorrow and we just try agreeing with each other. I can't see the point, Claire. <sighs> Let's give it a go. All right. Now, I say something and you say something. Then I say something. And you say something short. OK. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Here you're looking for strippers. Yeah. Oh, I've had experience. Karaoke 1997 was a huge success. Oh, uh, I don't know, Alex. I mean, you're a bit late. All the other guys had to go through a pretty grueling audition process, and I mean, you don't even really know the routine, do you? No. You're hired. Mm. Rehearsal's in ten minutes. And five, six, seven, eight, and turn. You 
forward. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wrong place to hold the ball. One, two, three, four. Four, six, seven, oh, eight. Oh, she's got all day. Face the crease, please. You guys want fame? Well, fame pops back right here is where you're going to start paying in sweat. Who's saying about fame? Talking like getting you there, Terry. So I really did three Wishing he's going to get you there. Alex, come on, I want to see some sweat. Let's go. Craig, you suck. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. Terry, roll the leg. So just sexy. You're stripping. Let's go. So just hear the music. Be the music. Face in here. Face in here. Roll the leg. Thank you very much, Elvis. Be proud, boys. You've earned them. And one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. What are you doing? I'm tired. Hey, aren't you guys ready yet? It's time to go. What? Oh, my God. And the uh, special effects have been taken care of. Oh, good. Special effects? Oh, just some final decorative touches. Now, come on, everybody in the car, let's go. And remember, if you forget the steps, yeah, just... Yeah, we know. We know. Be the music. Don't worry, no one will notice you dancing once you've got your gear off. Ha, 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 ha. know we're going in a sec, right? You go on. I'll wait. For what? Wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. What's wrong with Jodie? It's quite possible she thinks I'm attracted to you. <laughs> She's right. I think you're gorgeous and, and I'd really like to take you out. Out? I know there's an age difference. But I don't care what people think. Stuff them. If you like someone, you like someone. End of story. Oh, come on, Mum. Yes. Right, let's go. He's practically my age. You're my mother. You could be his mother. It's disgusting. And that's what you told him, right? You're not actually thinking about it, are you, Jeff? Any idea what the whole town's going to say? Maybe I don't care. Ahead. I don't see how many people have arrived. Hey! Hey! It's a sellout. It's practically full already. Well, how many do you reckon? 100? 150? Yeah, maybe more. I didn't expect such a crowd. I don't know. Everyone wants to see you guys naked. <laughs> Should you guys be getting ready? Yeah, come on. Good luck. Good luck. I'm going to go with them. I don't to pick up any more young boys on your way in. Terry, very brave of you. Jody asked me to do it. I didn't want to let her down. I reckon it's been 20 years since I saw a man naked, other than Philip. Why do you think I got front row seats? I had some cold in there with a the shrinkage. One see a thing up the back. Don't worry, I bought Toby's binoculars. Oi! Look, I really have to go. I was only just dropping off the missus no, and... Just two minutes of your time, please, Neil. Look, Neil, Claire and myself have had a chance to discuss things. Yeah, and although we might disagree at times, it's the, uh... Well, the heated discussions. That bring about the best results. You know, that uh, neither of us could achieve on our own. Yeah. Look, you won't find two people more committed to the training of your horse than my business partner and me. Couldn't have said any better myself. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> well, what do you know, Claire? 
It worked. Yep. Oh, either that or uh, Neil didn't want to be seen in a male strip show. <laughs> Trick is to be professional. Yeah. I wonder how professional you're going to look prancing around in the underdays. Uh, well, I, better, I better go get ready. Is Nick with you? <laughs> no, I haven't seen him. There's too many people. I can't do this. There's just too, too many people. Rowan! Oh. It's really filling up out there. Hey, did I get a, a kid's G-string? Does it look way too small to you? Yeah, who would have thought getting your gear off would be so difficult? Okay, guys. Let's do it. Guys. Rowan's sick. Okay, we have to go on with four. Four's good. Four's okay. Yeah. Oh my god. My mother's out there. I'm not doing this. Forget it. Craig, she's your mother, okay? Look, she's seen it all before. Yeah, but it's I've 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 grown since then. Bree's good. Bree's okay. Are you kidding? No. No way. Right, I'll do it by myself. One's good. One's okay. Woodland. There is a little boy out there who needs wheelchair ramps and you can help him. My mother would die if she saw me out there. She'd kill me first and then die. Ugh. Sure there's a lot more people than karaoke 97. Do you still need an extra stripper? I'm not gonna do it. I only have to take off my clothes, don't I? I think I can manage that. Okay then. Can't let you embarrass yourself on your own, can I? Where's my G-string? <laughs> oh. Better get dressed in, mate. Mom's ticking. Okay. Yep. This is more like it. Yeah, you're right, I'll let's do it then, eh? A little boy needs a little chance. So at least I can do it. Actually, it's just the rants. Right. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there has been a slight change in the lineup. Oh, who cares? As long as they get their gear off and shake it over here. Okay. okay, well then, can I please have a big round of applause for Alex Ryan, Nick Ryan, Terry Dodd,
<laughs> women, eh? You, you show them your dangly bits and they go nuts, don't they? <laughs> Some don't even know their own strength. <laughs> there. Oi, I scrub up all right, don't I? Oh. Jeez, Lots of girls. They're all over me. Oh, he's dreaming. Tell you what, though. I can make some decent money. Hey, Nick, I've been thinking. Wilgo looks like it needs some fences fixed. Well, if I had the cash, I would. Well, we'll just have to think of a way of raising some, won't we? <laughs> Fair go. Let's get some decent crowd control next time. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. How are you feeling? Oh, a bit embarrassed. Rolling on flattered. You're going to break your fair share of hearts one day. Thomas. Meg. Don't say anything. Uh, no, no, it's not about. I'll do it. What? I'll testify for Terry. Who cares what people think, right? Right. That's why you're here, right? Uh. Right. <laughs> it's got a crush on me. Can you believe it? <laughs> See you guys. Hey. Well, you got off lightly. Oh, these are just the bruises you can see. Mm. Yeah. About your wheat seeds. I know another local farmer. He's looking to go organic. Great. Well, he's done the research. He's had the topsoil tested. He's had the gypsum, the lime. Why are you telling me? Well, he's a little cash strapped. He can't afford the seeds. Could be looking for a partner. Local? Yeah, very close. Is he nice? Could do worse. So you think he'd be okay? He's got a few scars, but nothing you can't get past. A little help. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hope it's enough. Yeah. Oh, I wish you could be there to see Rowan's brother's smiling face. I thought it was Michael's brother. Michael doesn't have a brother. Oh, so it's your brother who's in the wheelchair. Not likely. My brother plays full forward for the Adelaide Crows. Actually, it's it's my brother. I, I didn't want to say anything. It's two brothers, in fact. Twins. It was all a lie, wasn't it? What can I say? Uh, what was it for? Trip to Bali. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fine.